In this video, we'll be looking at two methods that adds elements to an array. The first method, called add element, uh, adds just one element to the array. So let's first look at the list of parameters of this method. Obviously, the first parameter is the array, called list. The second parameter is your number of elements. Because you're adding an element, you need to know how many elements there are. That's the value going in currently. And you add one and then it's going to change, so a changed value goes out. Therefore, it's a reference parameter that takes in a value, the value changes, and it goes out. The third parameter is simply the new value you want to add to the array called new one. And this is uh, an array of integers, so new one, the new element, is also an integer. But before you can add an element to an array, we are aware that this array can only take size elements. So once the array is full, you can't add a new element to the array. The way to check whether an array is full is to check whether size is equal to number of elements. So size is the maximum number of elements the array can take. And once the number of elements has reached that, then obviously you can't add an element and you simply just give a right line statement say, that says the array is full. Let's quickly revisit the logic of adding a new element to an array. Remember we are applying the rule of filling up the array from the start, that's from the left to the right. So irrelevant of how many elements there are in an array, the first element will always be at position 0. Because of that, the last element will always be at position number of elements minus 1. So, for example, if you add three elements in the array, they will be at positions 0, 1, and 2. Then the next element, the, when you add a next element, the position just after the last would then obviously be number of elements. Therefore, we say list number of element is assigned to new one. The golden rule in adding an element to an array is directly after doing that, you increment the number of elements. So you've just added an element to the array, so now obviously there's one more element in the array. Okay, the next method we're looking at is called fill up array. This method says we don't know how many elements there are currently in the array, but we're going to simply fill it up. We're going to add elements until the array is full. So we look at the parameters, and it's the same that we always have when we send through an array called list. And because the number of elements inside changes, the number of elements parameter is a reference parameter. Notice this time we don't need to send through a parameter called new one, because we're going to be reading that from the user inside the method. Because we're adding stuff to the array until the array gets full, the while loop simply says while number of elements is less than size. That means while the array is not full yet, we can add another element. So the action of adding another element is simply we ask the user for an element. The user enters an integer, and that integer is then assigned to the next open space. Remember, this first space after the last element is always position number element. So the new element is added to list number of element. And then the basic, which we always do when we add an element to an array, we immediately increase the number of elements by one. We increment it by one, so there's now one more element in this list. It will go to the top of the while loop, and if it's not full yet, it will repeat the process until number of elements becomes equal to size, which implies it's full. 